Hey guys, welcome to complete web application step-by-step -step tutorial. I am Ripon Datto. This is module 7. In this module, I am going to show you how to create partial view and how to render it from the main view. So let's get started. Alright, so let's go to the list view. In the list view, as you might notice that we are rendering the same thing repeatedly. So we can eliminate this repeating thing using partial view that means this is one of the principle which is DRY dry that means don't repeat yourself so in this case we can eliminate this uh, I mean using partial view so let's go to the view and as it is a partial view you can create it in a shared folder or associated with the folder so I want to create it in a shared folder so right click in the shared folder then add view and I want to create it as partial view so let's say product summary and it is an empty, empty template and our model is product so add All right our partial view is created so as you can see partial view is also CSHTML but this is a partial view then what we need to do is we need to move this code into our partial view All right so only one thing we have to change is this we have to change it to model then if you press dot now you can see you are getting the properties of the model that means product properties so it will also be model and model for description okay so now from here we need to call this product summary uh, partial view so we have to call html dot partial then first parameter is the view name so our view name is product summary then second parameter is our product so this is p which is coming from this for each loop so this p is coming from this for each loop and this is our partial view now let's run the project so control f5 all right so as you can see there is nothing changed as it was before only thing we have done is we just refactor our code that means we just uh, use our partial view and another benefit of using partial view is we can reuse this partial view in other other model or other controller so now we have the uh, chance for reusable this view into I mean this partial view into other if we need in this case all right so this tutorial is basically for creating the partial view and how to render the partial view from the views.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. At least you learned how to create the partial view and how to render the partial view and why it is necessary in an application. In the next module, I am going to show you how to add navigation controls, I mean menus into the application. Then I will show you how to create your shopping cart and then I will show you how to make this application for mobile compatible. Then in the, in the module 12, I will show you the administration part, basically how to insert, delete, update and how to manage your products then security and finally deployment into your app server in this case i will be using the uh, i mean a real web server so you can uh, get a knowledge how to host your application into the server so keep in touch and stay well thank you